Well, hello everybody, this is Santa Jerry from Santa Switch Adapted Toys. This is another video on wire identification to turn a stereo cable into a mono cable for making switches and, and toys, adapting toys. <clears throat> now in a previous video I had shown how to do this um, with a couple of ways and then uh, I used my little box. I have made this box up, it's got six LEDs and three a female 3.5 millimeter uh, plugs on each side of it and so I made this up so I could do switches and I discovered that manufacturers of the cables that I used didn't send them all with the same color coding you can see here I've got red, white and yellow and the same here red, white and yellow and then on this other one red, white and yellow now one of these was cut off of the end of this cable and the other one was the one I just pulled out of my uh, stack over there. So <clears throat> the question is, which one of these wires is tip and which two wires uh, represent the uh, ring and the sleeve on the uh, cable so that we can combine this to make a mono. And a mono cable is the only thing you need when you're adapting toys but stereo cables are sometimes cheaper to get. That's basically why I have these. So I made this box and in the box I can put it in and I can put two wires together and an LED light will come on. Hopefully. Okay, so there's red and yellow turned on that blue light. Red and white turned on the red light. So our goal is to not have the lights come on at all. So white and yellow, the lights didn't come on. So I know that white and yellow does nothing until crossed to red. So white and yellow gets put together. I'm going to twist that together. And if my solder is hot, I'm going to go ahead and solder that together. <clears throat> I now have a mono cable. I now know which two wires to put together. So when I put my switch, make my switch, as long as I make that on one side and this on the other side of the switch, press the button and it works. <clears throat> now I'm going to do a toy. For a toy, we use the other end. We use the female end of the wiring of the cables. And again, I have <clears throat> yellow, white, red, yellow, white, red. So I need to be able to plug this in. I made a, another cable up because on the front of this tester, I don't have a way of plugging this into it. So I made another cable up that was two male ends. And now I stretch that, you know, put, connect this up. <clears throat> so now I have the ability of testing these wires the same way I just did this cable I'm going to use for a switch. So let's make some guessing here. I have white and yellow made up one side and red the other. On this, let's find out if that's the same answer. White and yellow. Uh oh, the lights came on. White and red, the lights came on. Red and yellow, no lights. I know now on this one that it's not the it's not the red that's separate, it's actually the white that's separate. So we're going to put these two together because no lights came on. We know that when we connect this up on the switch, it's going to work this way on the, uh, the toy. That we're going to have continuity through. So I'm going to solder the yellow and the red together. <clears throat> this is now ready to be used on a toy. i got another one here. Again, 
we're looking at the same thing. We have red, white, and yellow. Let's plug that in. We're going to test it. Gonna bring that over here. So white and yellow turn on nothing. Red and white turns them on. Red and yellow turns them on. Okay. So we're going to twist together the white and yellow again. This one here it was different, but this one here was obviously cut off the end of that white and yellow. Let's move that out of the way. And that's good, so we're going to solder that together. So that's how you do the testing. We got that set up. <clears throat> People wanted, they like that idea. You can also do this on the toy, with toys. So ask, I've been asked to make some up of these switches, these testers, so that people could use that. So we're going to set that one to the side, and we're going to put a battery pack. And some parts. To make the tester, you need to have, uh, in this particular case, a 3 volts battery, so that's any two AA or AAA batteries. A connector so that you can plug in your switches, a circuit board to mount stuff to, two LEDs, and two 47 ohm resistors, and a couple of other parts I'm going to use for spacers, and a box to put it into. So with the magic of, let's see, box, project box. Okay. So with the magic of cable TV or TV, there it is. That's all in there. I used those components and a short bit of cable to do something that this box did not have. This box did not have a male connector. I had to make up that jumper. So we don't need the jumper anymore. So I'm making up this box on request and sending it out. So how does it work? Same way. We only have to have two lights on it. On those two lights, I'm going to put... See, we don't need the jumper that I made anymore. So we're going to test a cable for a switch, a cable for a toy, and a cable for a toy. We're going to cut these off. We're going to create mystery so they're no longer soldered. Strip them back so we have bare wires. So what's interesting about this, and I'm going to really throw a a loop to this in a moment here. When the manufacturers make these cables, they don't care what color wire goes out as long as they're connected and uh, properly on each end. So, we're going to test the one for a, a, a switch. Let's go back to the connectors and which ones turn on lights. That turns on light. That was red and white connected together. Red and yellow turns on light. So that would mean that white and yellow will not turn on lights. On this cable, white and yellow goes together. I want you to stay with me until the end of the video because there is a surprise waiting for you here. So we know that on this toy, or on the switch rather, that's ready to go. Here was the two cables that had the same color wiring inside. We don't have to have that long adapter because we've I've made this box differently. And here is, let's see, what do we have over here? White and yellow were on that one. Let's see what happens when we touch. Oh, look. I'm going to touch red and yellow together and nothing comes on. This is why you can't depend on the manufacturer's color scheme. White and yellow something came on. White and red, something came on. So in this case, we're going to combine yellow and red. 
and I'm not going to solder this, but the process was here. On this one, if we combine yellow and white, just like we did on this previous cable, what happens? Yeah, we're good. But, let's see. On, on this other short cable, we had yellow and red that went together. On this one here, let's try the same thing, yellow and red together, and the light came on. So if we had soldered this one up the same as we did this one, it would not work in our toy. We would have frustration. So yellow and, see white and red, light comes on. Yellow and white, no light comes on. Yellow and white get soldered together. Now I promised you a surprise at the end of this. I told you that manufacturers don't care what color cables they use. How about this one? Here's a uh, plug that, that you could get. Use it for a uh, toy. And you're playing with it. You open it up and you don't see red, white, and yellow. Instead you see red, blue, and black. Which one's tip? Which one's ring and which one is sleeve. Well, let's find out. That's where this tester comes in. Red and blue, that turns A light on. Doesn't matter what color the light is as long as it turns it on. What does black and red do? Black and red does not turn on any lights. So we could right now solder these together and that would be one side, but let's confirm it. What does black and blue do? Turns on another light. We now know that in this particular cable, red and black is the sleeve and the ring, and blue is the tip. Now, as long as we've combined the red and black, we now have a mono cable that can be used on toys. Reliably set up, solder that together, and it's ready to go. It's now added to the mix and you can use it reliably in a toy and not have any problems. So thank you for watching. I will uh, send this box out to the person that requested it and uh, offer up the other ones. I'm probably going to make some of these and have them for sale on my, uh, on my site. Thank you.